So now we will look at evidence for electrons in shells or what is called energy levels. So things didn't stop with the discovery of electrons and the nucleus. And the next important development came in 1914 when Niels Bohr revised the atomic model again. He noticed that the light given out when atoms were heated had only specific amounts of energy. He suggested that the electrons must be orbiting the nucleus at set distances in certain fixed energy levels or what is called shells. So as you can see, the energy must be given out when excited electrons fall from a high to a lower energy level. So as you can see here, this is the atomic model suggested by Bohr. Here is the nucleus which is at the center of the atom and these are the electrons which are orbiting the nucleus in these energy levels or shells. Now we will look at the evidence for neutrons in the nucleus. Scientists at the time speculated that there were two types of subatomic particles inside the nucleus. However, they had evidence of protons only. But a second subatomic particle in the nucleus was also proposed to explain the missing mass that had been noticed in atoms, and these are the neutrons. So these neutrons must have no charge and they have the same mass as a proton. Because these neutrons have no charge, it was very difficult to detect them in experiments unlike protons and electrons, and it wasn't until 1932 when James Chadwick did an experiment that could only be explained by the existence of neutrons, and then the three fundamental subatomic particles of the atom were known. So we have the proton, the electron, and the neutron. Protons and the neutrons are inside the nucleus, whereas electrons are orbiting the nucleus in energy levels. Protons hold a positive charge, electrons hold a negative charge, while the neutrons have no charge at all. Let's summarize now what we have discussed in this section. So, as you can see, in 1803, John Dalton proposed an atomic model where the atom was viewed as a tiny hard sphere. Then, in 1904, Thomson discovered the electron, and because he knew that atoms had no charge, then there must be a positive charge inside the atom as well to balance the negative charge present, and then he developed his plum pudding model. Then in 1911, Rutherford discovered the presence of a nucleus which holds the positive charge and it is in the center of the atom, whereas electrons will be orbiting around this nucleus. Later, between 1913 and 1914, Niels Bohr revised the atomic model and he found that electrons are orbiting around the nucleus in energy levels.